Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Well, happy Tuesday, everyone. It is 618 and we have had just piles of snow up in the mountains over the last three to four days. Tamarack has picked up over two feet. Same with Brundage and look at the scene here at Payette Lake and McCall. This was from yesterday. Our time lapse shows a beautiful day across uh, the Long Valley. Just absolutely gorgeous. They had a little bit of snow in the morning, but then that sun came out just like here in the valley and turned into a really nice Monday. All right, so let's talk about about, uh, the trend over the next seven days or so. For McCall, those piles of snow will continue to grow as we see another storm start to make its way across the northwest and headed in our direction. It'll arrive in the mountains first late tomorrow. Could drop a little bit of snow even in the valleys Wednesday night. And then look at these snow totals through Friday. We're talking the possibility of 6 to 12 inches more for some of our ski resorts to add to what has already fallen. So talk about some late season help from Mother Nature, right? We kick off March this week, and even though that's only three weeks away from the start of spring. There's nothing spring like about our forecast. This is the valley forecast, our trend for the next seven days. We have a chance of picking up some rain or snow or wintry mix of the two on Thursday and Friday. Temperatures normally to kick off March are around 50 degrees. We get nowhere close to that for our afternoon highs all the way through next Tuesday. So here's what's happening across the northwest right now. We have a very clear morning. That's what's allowed our temperatures to drop now into the teens across the valley below zero up in many of our mountain locations. The disturbance you see here in the northwest is not going to amount to much. It's going to mostly just impact the Pacific Northwest and then kind of move off to the east and not do much for our neck of the woods. But the system behind that one is what we are concerned with. It is going to bring that precipitation in late tomorrow night into Thursday. So enjoy this moment today while we catch our breath in between storms. Temperature wise, we'll only see the mid 40s for Seattle and Portland will only hit the mid 30s. So it's still an abnormally chilly late February day. And then here's what happens as that storm rolls in. This is our future cast. So today, lots of sunshine. It'll look beautiful out there, but temperatures will be cold. But early tomorrow morning, look what is happening along the West Coast. Here comes that system bringing a lot of rain to Portland and Seattle. Plenty of snow to the Cascades. We'll start seeing snow here in our central mountain locations late tomorrow night. There's a possibility by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. If temperatures drop far enough at that point, we could start seeing a light little dusting of snow. The snow could continue off and on along with that wintry mix throughout the day. Thursday by early Friday morning, we should get a break. We may see a couple of showers still pop up on Friday, but really for the valleys, it looks like Thursday is going to be kind of the wettest, dreariest day of the week, unfortunately. Now, nothing dreary about how our day is going to look today. Lots of sunshine today, but it's not going to feel all that nice. Just 38 for Ontario, 35 in Boise, and 34 the high for Mountain Home. And again, as you round up or wrap up February tomorrow, we'll hit 39. Slightly warmer, but the clouds will also be moving in. It's not going to look as pretty for Wednesday. There's our wet conditions for Thursday and Friday. The weekend does dry up, but doesn't warm up much. We'll have her in the upper 30s for Saturday and Sunday.